Good morning, my friends. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. It is warm out today. Oh my word. I think it might be a full day already or at least some sprinkler action. Let's find out what we're doing today. May 28th, 2020. Dear friends, today is Thursday. The Star Spangled Banner is the national anthem of the United States of America. Do you know who wrote the words, love Mrs. Jones? We've been talking about national symbols. If you've ever been to a ball game and you stand for the national anthem, it starts with the words, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light. And I'm certain that once you hear those, you will remember going to a ballpark and standing or at least watching an event where we start with the national anthem. So that is the song of our country. It's called the National Anthem, and it's just like our national symbols. It stands for our country. Alrighty, so let's do some work here today. We're going to start with our capitals. And we've got a capital M in May, a capital D in Dear, capital F in Friends, capital T, capital T, capital T, capital S, capital S, Capital B, it's the name of the song, so we've got capitals there for the name of the song, proper noun. We keep going. We find United, capital U, capital S, and capital A, proper noun, name of our country. Capital D, start of a sentence. L for my sign-off, M for my sign-off, J for my sign-off there. Alrighty, lots of uppercase letters. Let's look for some ending marks. We have a period, a very long sentence going on in the lines, another period, and then a question. One thing I want to point out to you, star spangled, it's a linked word, so we use a dash there. So when writing it, that's a hyphen. It's not an ending mark, it just tells us star spangled, they're connected words, so we use a little dash. Not always, but sometimes. Alrighty. I'm going to put Bernard down. Let's find some digraphs. So we start here. We know we have one at the start of Thursday. We have one at the start of the. Keep going. We have one in the middle of anthem here in the. Keep going. Any other digraphs? Another the. And that is all. Alrighty, we're going to find some magic E's. I have a feeling there are a good number of them today. Let's look. Long vowels powered up by the E. Alright, so we have one here. Believe it or not, if we took the E-D off, unite I, that E would power it up. Stay, A, E's powering it up. Wrote, O, powered up. Nice long vowel O there, and O in Jones. One thing I want to point out to you, we haven't talked about this very often, but this here, W-R, here how we've got only the wrote, wrote, and in the word write, like I write my name. There's a quiet W at the beginning. That's the correct spelling for it. We have a bossy R there. Why do we call it a bossy R? Because the R is saying to the W, you be quiet. I'm going to do all the noise today. <laughs> So that's the way I remember the W sometimes. It's, we use that bossy R. The W is there because it's the correct spelling. It's definitely a rule breaker. And we've got a WR, silent W, bossy R, E powering up the O, wrote. So if we were to tap it out, we would just hear er, o, t, three sounds. That's why it's a rule breaker. It's got five letters, but only three sounds. Okay, let's count some syllables. Spangled. Spangled. Two. Banner, banner, two, national, national, hmm, super fun. Do you notice the temperature today? Are your eyes drawn to that immediately? Oh my goodness, 69, 45, 61, 62, 69 today. Look at the temperature jump there. Starting our day very warm. I'm going to add another one for our daily count, and I'm going to turn this into what looks like a dice, it makes it easier to count. Can you see that number? Right away you see the six, don't even need to count it. So we add 
one more one. Five becomes a six. Number of days left. If yesterday was 15, we go one smaller. Today is 14. 14 days left of school. So we have six plus four more is a 10. Put down that zero because I'm trading. I trade for a one, I trade for a 10 rod. My one 10 rod plus six is seven, plus one more is eight. And my 100, I'm still looking at 180 days left. Alrighty, so I've got a couple things today. One is number of the day. The number of the day today is the number 28 in honor of the date. Your job is to show me it in 10 frames. Your job is to show me as many equations as you can, and that's an awesomely big number. Your job is to show me what the number is if I add one more, if I take one away, or if I add 10. So that is our number of the day, 28. Also challenge yourself, can you show me it with tallies? Could you show me it another way that I haven't even explored yet? I want you to think about that as you're showing me different ways to create the number of the day, which is a big one, 28. So that's one job today. The other job I have for you today is our May poem. If you look on Seesaw today, I'm going to have our May poem there, and I'm going to have you doing a word hunt for particular words, and we'll see if you can find them all. All right, I've set you up with some good jobs today. I'm hoping that you get time outside. Remember your sunscreen and bug spray? The mosquitoes have been pretty um, hungry. They've been pretty aggressive, I'd say, munching on us. So for today, enjoy your outdoors. I know it's hard because we're in such nice weather, but make sure you're also getting your schoolwork done, practicing snap words, practicing your sentences with spaces, rereading to make sure they sound the way you want them to, and making sure that you're working on your math facts. Many of you showed me your vertical subtraction yesterday, so I have a challenge. Yesterday we used one dice, today use two dice. That means the biggest number at the top will be 12, because we roll two dice, the biggest number, six plus six would be 12. So everyone will start with 12 takeaway and see what happens. So try 10 problems with a 12 takeaway. 12 starts it, takeaway stays the same, and then roll to figure out what number you're taking away. All righty, you've got some fun work today. Hope you're having a good one. I'm having a wonderful start to my day. I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. Until then, keep a picture in your pocket, a poem in your head, and I will do the same. Goodbye for now.